Hey, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kwakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give it peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Loading videos edifying, lonely. I can get something from this video. Quick video. I'm going to get Colossians, the third chapter. I was just. Uh, watching the elders uh video and one thing i was thinking about man and um was uh the the mindset that we that we have and that we adopt when we come into this truth this is what the world can't understand man okay this is what the world can't understand and this is what the world won't be able to understand until the kingdom okay and what i mean by you know world i'm talking about jake you know two-thirds of israel okay you know, they're not going to understand because they're so caught up in the way of this, this world and caught up in the way of this life. But Jake has, has been like that, man. Right. It's plenty of examples, you know, in the scriptures where Jake, you know, was caught up into the things of, of now instead of the instead of being prudent. You know, but it's a select few. Right. That's caught up. In the kingdom, caught up in the things to come that are prudent. OK, as a matter of fact. To prove that um, that the majority of uh, it's not for the majority, drop wave. It's in Second Edges, yeah, nine, right here. The Second Edges nine, um, and I start at fifteen. It says, "I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved." See, there are going to be many more of them. That's going to perish in this time. OK, with these upcoming things. Right. You have the draft. You have wars, rumors of wars. You're going to have World War Three. Scriptures talk about that. Right. You, you're going to have martial law. You're going to have famine. You're going to have concentration camps. You're going to have a lot of this shit where you're going to need some refuge. You're going to need some some protection and salvation. And you're going to want that. But the only ones that's going to get that is the Lord's elect in his one third. OK. And you people mocking, you laughing, you scoffing, you show your incredulity toward the man teaching and preaching his word. But you don't understand that <clears throat> in your security. Right. You're going to you're going to you when you think you're secure, you're going to understand. Oh, shit. Danger. Danger is right there. And then all the said perils are going to be for you in your household and the people that had the mindset that you have or the unbelief that you have. OK, this is 16. It says uh, like as a wave is greater than a drop, like as a wave is greater than a drop. So a wave of water is greater than a drop of water. A drop of water is compared to those that's going to be saved. And protected. That's the drop. Now, the wave is for those that's going to be destroyed, man. OK. So the wave Represents the multitude of those that's going to be destroyed. The drop represents really the elect in the one third. Okay, and that's what you should be trying to understand instead of looking at the appearance of men and looking at the out looking at the outward appearance of men. Okay, because you that that could lead you not to not know what the hell you're talking about, man. Okay, this is Colossians three and one. It says, "If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things." which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the, of the Most High. And if you have your mind towards that, then you're going to have your mind towards, okay, what do I need to do in order to get right, to be right? What do I need to do um, in order to be protected, you know, from these these times that are, are to come, okay? Right, what do I need to do for my household? What do I need to do as a man of, of the Lord? You know, these are the things you're going to have to wrap your mind around. And that comes with studying. That comes with uh, watching brothers videos that come with reading. That comes with getting breakdowns that come with, you know, drinking the milk that come with eating the meat. OK. It says set your affection in. And, and really, like I was talking to a brother yesterday. And. um, I had mentioned that, uh, you know, when scriptures say, you know, Sirach. In Sirach, where it talks about wisdom that it'll dwell with you. Okay? 
and it, it, it till it's able to trust till it's able to trust you. Okay. And then it will it would it will discipline you or what to say torment you. But let me just grab it. I think it's in um, Sirach four or Sirach seven. Sirach four. Uh, it might be. Hold on. Let me see. Right here. Yep. Sirach four and seventeen. It says, for at first you will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and, and torment him with her discipline until, she's, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Okay? And this is what you got to be after. Right? The world doesn't have this. The world doesn't understand. So that's why they're, you know, in La La Land, right? Gazing, right? Marrying and giving us mar marriage. Let's, let's, let's get that in the days of no. Days no. No. Yep. This is, uh, this is uh, Matthew 24 and 37. It says, but as the days of no, no, which is Noah, were, so shall also the com the coming of the Son of Man be. And um, what do you see, right? Just like in the days of Noah, you partying, marrying, right? Drinking, having a you know having a ball, having a blast until what the earth was was flooded. Okay. And it's like when you see men teaching and preaching the scriptures, man, right? And and you see how serious these men are. Like you gotta, bro. You got to take some type of, you got to have some seriousness about yourself. If you know anything about the scriptures, you understand that people always scoffed. You understood, you understand what happened to scoffers. You understand what happened to evildoers, right? You, you understand what happened to people that show their unbelief, right? So for the simple fact that niggas is willing to show their unbelief and, 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 and speak about it and, and, and brag about it, it's like, bro, you about to be marked, man. OK, it says uh, like what, what about the do? What about the people that did the same thing in the, in the first, you know, destruction of the, of the world, which was by way of water? You people don't take that in consideration. But it goes to show you that you really, truly don't believe. You don't believe. You kind of believe, which means you don't believe. OK, this is Matthew 24 and. um. I'm going to start at 36. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. So we don't know that day, right? But we, but Yahweh Shah told us what to look for. It says, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So only Yahweh know when that day is. Okay. It's 37. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage, giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So look, they, 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 that's why it says what is it's going to come in a thief like a thief in the night. You don't know. You're going to be oblivious. You don't know because you're not watching. You're not looking. You're not seeking. You're not, you don't want any understanding. Right, you feel like you got it all figured out, and you don't. When the when the very thing that you put confidence in, which is this system, when it crashes and it fails, what are you gonna do? Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you and your household gonna do? Scripture say what? Me and my household, we are gonna serve the Lord, man. Me and my household, we're gonna serve the Lord. Okay, this is Colossians three and two. It says, set your affection on things above, not things on the earth for ye are dead and your life is here with Hamashiach and Mosai. This is what a nigga can't understand. Okay. It says when Hamashiach who is our life, which is Yahweh Shai, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory because Amos, uh, what is that? It's like it. Uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, uh, this is not your rest. Okay. But guess what? Our rest is the kingdom to come. It says, when Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, right? 
it says in covetousness which is idolatry and this is everything this is every this is a trait that every nigga got man okay and when you come into this thing this are these are the things we have to cancel out and work on you know some of us had these things some of the, some of us dealt with evil concupiscence right having a just you know a, a, a crazy lust or you know a, a evil lust or a, some of us dealt with covetousness and idolatry you know what i mean Right, these are the things that that we have to work on putting off when you come into this truth, man. Okay, six it says, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. It says, and the which he also walked some time when he lived in them, but now ye also put up all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. And this is what you niggas refuse to do, is to put off the old man with his deeds. Especially after the old man has been rewarded by this world, which is the nigga going to be rewarded because is he wicked and evil. And this world is wicked and evil, man. Okay? It says, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. And have put on a new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. And this is our goal. This is what we do. This is what we strive for, man. And in order to do that, you got to know, you know, you got to study. You got to know what the Lord is about. Okay. So with that, man, a little bit of edifying only. I can got some from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashimi Yahweh Shai. Bahashimi Kakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next shallow one.